Is gaming even fun anymore? You might be asking yourself that question. You might be like me, you might have really cherished memories throughout your gaming history. For me, it was the first time I finished a COD Zombies Easter egg with my friends. Or Halo, four player split screen on the Xbox 360. Or Destiny 2, raiding every single weekend with my friends, having an absolute blast, laughing uncontrollably. Or the first time I finished the Uncharted games. Something you might have noticed about these memories I have, something that's in common with all of them, is that they are memories from the past. That none of these are recent examples. Probably the most recent being Destiny 2, doing raids every single weekend with my friends. So why is that? Why is gaming now in the present in 2024? Why is it so hard to have fun while playing those games? If you've been watching me for a while, something you might notice is this is not my usual style of content. Usually I have a very meticulous script, I've written it all out, I edit very intensely to have everything nice and cut together, I don't like breathing. <laughs> so that's kind of different to how I'm making this video right now. But um, this is definitely way less scripted, I've got a few dot points and I'm just going for it. Um, this style of content is not my own, I'm actually copying it or, or being inspired by a creator called Nico. So here is his channel right here. He's been doing some really cool old style YouTube content and I love it and I think it's really fun. And so considering I am a small channel and a very new channel, um, I've been doing this for eight weeks now, so very fresh. Um, I thought I would try it out and I would replicate that content in a sense. And maybe if it does well, I'll continue it and try and put my own spin on it. But for now, thank you Nico for the awesome content idea. Go subscribe to him if you haven't already. He's awesome. Um, but if you like this content today, feel free to leave a like or subscribe, but I will move on. So, I don't know if you've ever felt like me before or like this before, but isn't it just the worst feeling in the world when you load up a game, you're like, I want to play some games, I want to feel that dopamine, I want to feel good, I want to feel like I'm having fun. So you load up a game like maybe Destiny 2, and then you're sitting in the menu or the main menu or in the ship menu for Destiny. Um, and you're sitting there and you're like, I don't know what to play and you maybe click on one thing then click on another thing But you don't end up going anywhere and you either go to a new game or you just stop playing altogether Why is that? Why is enjoying video games hard? Why in a game like Destiny 2 where I've had so many countless memories with incredible laughter and fun why am I struggling to even load into the game? Well, I thought I'd give you a bit of my story to kind of start it off. I have an interesting long history and relationship with video games. I've been playing them since I was a kid. Um, I've had a PS1 as a kid, PS2, PS3, Xbox. The story kind of starts as I just became an adult. I was working one day a week. I dwindled my work down to one day a week so I could spend the rest of my week playing video games. I had a bit of an addiction to say the least. During that time of my life for that year, I was quite morbidly depressed. I spent all of my time playing video games and I found no joy from them. I was angry all the time, I was grumpy, I was mean to my friends online and I was just a rough person all around. And a lot of that I attribute to the amount of time I was spending playing video games. Um, I had nothing else going on in my life by my own design. It was because I wasn't choosing to, to do anything. Um, and it wasn't until I then made the choice to go out and do other things and pursue other things that I really started to see fruit and growth in my life. Very specific things as well, a lot around faith and my life and journey with Christianity. And so if you want to hear anything about that, feel free to, to say that in the comments. But if not, I'll keep it strictly games here. Don't worry. Um, but yes, as I continued to pursue other things in life, I, um, I found myself happier and I found myself able to enjoy games a little bit more as I was actually spending more time away from them. Then when I would come back, I found myself enjoying my time a little bit more. But I think because I was in such a dark place for so long, it wasn't until I actually around 2020 or 2019-ish, I actually fully stepped away from video games. I sold my computer. I didn't have a console at the time, so I just sold my, my gaming PC, which I'd spent thousands of dollars on over the years. I sold it to a friend and I moved away from gaming entirely. And I spent nearly two years uh, without playing video games or very sparingly maybe with friends on their consoles or something playing video games and it wasn't until about two years later or just under in 2021 ish slash 2022 that i got an xbox series s while they were still kind of new so i could play some games with my best friend and he was the one that i played cod zombies with growing up and he was the best man at my wedding i love this guy with <laughs> all of my heart he's a great guy and um and it wasn't until 
an absolute banger of a game came out. It's called Elden Ring. I'm sure you all know it. It wasn't until Elden Ring came out that I really started playing games again. When Elden Ring came out, it captured me so deeply, mesmerized me actually, that I started playing video games a lot. Or not even video games, I started playing Elden Ring a lot. Um, and that kind of kick-started me getting back into gaming a little bit. Okay, so here we are at the end of the story, and I guess the takeaway of the story is, is that I think what I've learned is that when it comes to enjoying video games, something like Elden Ring, I enjoyed so much. And I guess that is a recent example of a game that I really thoroughly enjoyed. What mattered more wasn't the quality of the game. Yes, Elden Ring is a fantastic game. But what mattered more than the quality of the game was actually my relationship with gaming at the time. Because since then, I have actually played some really low quality games. Some games that are quite trash, in my opinion. But I've had a lot of fun anyway, because my relationship with gaming is so much healthier than it was in the past. And so I guess where I'm going with this is maybe it's not actually about the quality of the games that we play, how much replayability they have, how immersive they are or anything like that. Maybe it's actually more about where we are with our lives and how we interpret and interact with the world around us is actually more important than the video games we play. I see so much talk online about how video games are so much worse than they used to be and no one makes good games anymore. And I'm like, man, it's so not true. Like, sure, some developers, cough, cough, Ubisoft, are making some really silly games now. Like, this new Star Wars Outlaws game just looks not great. Take Ubisoft out of it. A lot of studios are making really good games right now. And I feel like so many people I know are, they're losing out on so much joy and fun to be found in the space because they're so addicted to it or they're trying to get the wrong things out of it. I know a few people who, they are awesome people and I love them but they're so consumed with being good at video games and being like the top player that they don't have fun in the games they play anymore. Isn't it enough to like have fun and laugh with your friends? Do you have to have progress towards a camo for every bullet that you shoot? Do you have to have this grindy battle pass system you're working towards? What's wrong with a game being fun for the sake of being fun? I think so much of AAA gaming at the moment is how can we keep people playing for as long as possible? How can we entice them with this grind that they have to be a part of? Think Destiny 2. Man, when we used to play raids every single weekend, it was because we would goof off and have fun and talk crap to each other and just be silly together. But here we are in 2024 and if I raid in Destiny 2 with the boys, I'm kind of miserable. Like, it's not very fun because if we're doing a raid, it's because someone doesn't have the right weapon yet or it's because someone's trying to get a, a roll of this weapon or someone's trying to do this or trying to do that or because someone really wanted to play it for the progression side of things. The reason that I don't think I enjoy Destiny anymore is because when we play it together, we don't play it to enjoy it with each other, to experience something together. We play it to unlock things and that's just not really fun. So where I'm really going with this, the initial question, is gaming even fun anymore? I think yes, gaming is and can be really, really fun if you have a healthy relationship with it. I think if you're looking to gaming to fill a void in your heart and in your soul, then you're looking to gaming for the wrong reasons. Gaming can be a healthy escape from reality. When you've had a rough week at work, it can be really fun to jump on with the boys, forget about it, and have some fun and, and laughs with the boys. I think that's a great way to use gaming. I think gaming can be an awesome way to get immersed into a whole different world, a world that cannot exist in reality and enjoy that and get immersed in a big story and get lost in the characters and feel emotion. I think video games is so amazing for that. I also think it's amazing for an expression of art. I think certain games have art design and art direction that I've never seen in any other medium, full stop. I think gaming is such a wonderful, exciting place. Gaming is really, really cool. But like anything, if it's not looked after tenderly and carefully and if you're not aware of your body and your mind and your soul and what's going on around you, it can very quickly become something that is detrimental to your life and that is painful. And with that, I think, to again circle all the way back around to the is game even fun anymore, it is if you actually let it be fun. Give yourself a break. Maybe if you're playing four days a week, all day, playing video games a lot, maybe cut it down to three days and spend that one day pursuing something else, learn an instrument, go out and get a coffee from a cafe, just break it up somehow. Go do something kind of different throughout one of your days a week or one of your allotted times that you have for video gaming. Take a slight break, not because you're playing too much and that's bad, but actually to give you a refresher, a reminder that this isn't the real world, that this is not life or death, that whether you win in that game of Fortnite shouldn't dictate your mood. It shouldn't take you from a great mood to a terrible mood. And don't get me wrong, it still does that to me. There's still times that I play a game with friends, especially like Apex Legends, and we lose horribly, and I feel poo-poo about it, and I'm like, ugh, this sucks, and I feel crappy now. 
Like, it's gonna happen to everyone. By no means am I saying that I'm immune to any of this. No. What I'm saying is, is the healthier you are with your outlook on video games and what it actually means and how important it actually is that you win that game or how important it actually is that you get that item in a game, if you realize how unimportant it is, it actually opens up room for fun. It opens up room to enjoy yourself again. If it's not life or death that you get that weapon, then maybe doing the raid with the boys will be a lot less stressful and a lot more fun. And if it's not life or death that you win that battle royale game, then you'll probably have a lot more fun experimenting with things and mucking around and having a good laugh. It's one thing to have a sense of humor. People can have a sense of humor and crack good jokes while they're miserable. But to actually be enjoying yourself and be laughing organically because of that, that's so different. And that's something that video games can totally facilitate. But you also have to be willing to let them facilitate that fun. To not take it so seriously. Video games are not life or death, they are video games. And I see so many people take themselves out of having fun and stop themselves from having fun. And I've done this so many times. Even recently, I've stopped myself from having fun in the pursuit of content. At the end of the day, it isn't real, it is a video game. And that's actually why it's so special and why it's so fun. So I don't know, this is a big ramble. I have no idea if this is even gonna hit with people. I don't know if this is gonna hit with the algorithm, but hey, if you enjoyed this video in any capacity, maybe give it a like, maybe give it a thumbs up, maybe subscribe to the channel. Um, I have no idea how this is gonna edit, but I'm gonna be editing this to uncut Minecraft gameplay the same way as Nico. And so, hey, shout out again to Nico. Please go subscribe to his channel. If you guys like this style of content, I'll try and incorporate it maybe every second week or something. We'll see how it goes. Um, but hey, everyone who has supported my little small channel so far, you guys are absolutely OGs. I love you all. All the people who are consistently commenting on videos as well. Hilariously, there are people in my real world who interact with me less and interact with my content less. And so you guys are the real G's. Um, so hey, love you all and I'll see you in the next video for sure. Peace out.